Good day, ladies and gentlemen. And today's cigar is um, something a little different. Um, I kind of gave it away in my previous one, the punch signature, what I was going to be doing next. So here it is. Easy Eddies. There you go. Now, when I started doing this series, I wanted to do cigars that uh, anybody could walk into any tobacco shop across America and pick up. But I've strayed a little bit here. I've even done a Cuban cigar, which I'll be doing some Cubans here in the future shortly. So uh, keep your eye out for those. Um, anyway, so I thought, you know, I'm going to do a few from mail order where you can get them just mail order. Um, but you're still able to get them. So here you go. Now this is, now keep in mind, I don't get paid any advertising. I don't get paid nothing for this. I just do this because I enjoy it. So don't think I'm doing this to plug a company. But I get these from, uh, I got these from jrcigar.com. And they, um, they come in a, uh, let's see, 60, 60 cigars to this box here. And they are $69.95, so just a little over a buck a stick. Which, if you've seen uh, another video I did for the La Finca that comes in an ammo can, you get uh, 92 cigars for 99 bucks there. So they're just over a buck a stick. And they're pretty good cigars. They're a sandwich cigar, though, but they are handmade. So, all right, we'll get started with this. Comes in this uh, plastic, like, ammo can sort of thing. Has a thing in the lid where you can put a, a humidifying device of some kind. So, this might... I always use the um, ammo cans from the La to for my travel humidors, but I think this might take their place because it has that. But uh, the nice thing about the La Finca ammo cans, they come lined in Spanish cedar. So that's a plus there. But they don't have a place to put a humidifying element. But you throw a couple water pillows in there and a plastic baggie with some slits cut in it. Just as good. Anyway, here we go. Pull one out. Now that's a plastic ammo can there, just all plastic. So there you go. Now the other ammo cans that Lafink has come in are military surplus ammo cans. They're the steel ones, which I prefer, but you know, this one won't be too bad. So, oops, the band come off with it. So bands are very loose on there. I won't bother putting the band back on the cigar. I'll just show it to you. There you go. Easy Eddie Stogies. And it kind of blemished the wrapper a little bit when it come off there. But we'll see how that goes. I'm not getting a draft through it, so I think we're okay. It's just the wrapper leaf. Now, I'm guessing this is probably a sandwich cigar, so I'm going to punch this to cut down on tobacco getting in my mouth. Whereas sandwich cigars or short filler cigars, uh, if you cut them, you tend to get bits of tobacco in your mouth. So, I'm going to punch this one. Just to uh, try and prevent that. So, anyway. Feels pretty good. Construction feels pretty good all up and down. Doesn't feel too tight or too loose. It's not a drop dead gorgeous wrapper, but it ain't bad. I mean, I've seen worse. Pre draw's good. A little tight. Just getting some earthiness, tobacco through it. Um, not really getting anything else. Just getting a a little bit of a tobacco aroma off the lap wrapper leaf. Not a whole lot of anything else. If I had to venture a guess, I would guess that these are made from uh, scraps, table cuttings from uh, 
shall we say, classier cigars. That's usually what these kind of things are. So, anyway, all right, about the cigar, let's see here. It is, uh, uh, let's see. It is Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler to Nicaraguan puro, made in Nicaragua. And it says medium to full bodied. So, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. A couple other little blemishes, but nothing really to worry about. I mean, I'm sure it's not top shelf age 10 years wrap relief on these either, but we're going to give it a try and see how it goes. The draw is a bit tight on it, but I'm I'm thinking it might even out some. Yeah, it's not bad. I've had worse. I've had better, but I've had worse. Got a little earthiness to it. A little bit of sweetness on the lips. It's not the smoothest cigar I've ever had, but it's not bad. A little bit of a uh, little bit of um, like a Worcestershire in there, just a little bit. Has a uh, you really get the aroma of the tobacco and the smoke too, like. Uh, Walking into a well-kept humidor, so the, it's got that going for it. Yeah, not bad at all. It's burning a little off right there. Uh, let me get this web page out of the way so I can see what I'm doing here. It's burning just a little bit off, but... That'll probably take care of itself later on down the line. Like I said, with sandwich cigars, you can't have them perfect every time. There's going to be flaws like that. Probably pretty consistent, actually. But you know, for a buck a stick, what can you what can you ask for? It's smoothing out a little bit. I would say it's a little on the fuller side. It's not really a medium. I would say it's more on the full bodied side. That's what I'm picking up. So, all right. Well, tell you what, I will give this a pause and then I will uh, update you about halfway through. All right. As you can see, we're about halfway through. Uh, been a good cigar so far. I mean, not a fantastic cigar, but, you know, uh, I can handle this for a daily stick like my LaFinca's are. Um, yeah, I can handle this. So, still uh, pretty smooth, actually. It really is pretty smooth. It's still pretty full-bodied, but uh, actually it's not a bad quality cigar. Um, I've had worse, a lot worse. So... Uh, still getting a nice tobacco aroma back through the nose. A um, little bit of um, that Worcestershire still coming through a little bit. Uh, it evened out on the burn there pretty much. So the construction's been pretty good. It's held up real good as you can see. Uh, that little blemish in the band in the wrapper was probably from when I pulled the cellophane off and it brought the wrapper with it. So. That hasn't proved any problem. So, all in all, not a bad stick so far. So, all right. Well, I will give you an update when we finish up on this.
All right, as you can see, coming down the end of it here, that's been a pretty good stick. Um, I can't complain too much for a buck of stick. I'd smoke them every day. So, it's still relatively smooth. Construction's been pretty good on it. It's held together pretty good. Uh, it's burning even, as you can see. Doing pretty good. Now, I'm not sure. This might be a long filler, but I doubt it. Um, it could be a short filler. It could be long filler. I don't know for sure. I'll uh, have to see what I can find out. And uh, if I find out something, I'll update it in the comments below. But, yeah, it's not too bad. Getting a little rougher at the end. Uh, no burn or bite or anything like that. It's still pretty smooth smoke, but it's awful peppery coming through the nose. Real peppery now. Uh, get a little, uh, little, uh, deeper in, the uh, uh, flavors it's putting out, getting some, uh, earthiness and just a little bit of grassiness in there, just a touch. Yeah, still getting a nice tobacco aroma through the nose, uh, Oh, no, not too bad a cigar, actually. Like I said, I've had worse. I've had better, but I've had worse, so. All right, well, if you happen to get some and give one a try, uh, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and as always, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen.